Hello, students. My name is Ms. Hunter, and I am the Counseling Program Coordinator here at SVCTE. Welcome to our student orientation. So we're about to give you a number of helpful resources, but we also like to let you know that this whole slide deck will be available for your reference at a future time. Um, it will be located on our campus website, so you would want to go to SVCTE uh, website, and it will be located in the drop-down menu at the top under Student Resources and Parent Resources. So as I mentioned, my name is Laura Hunter, and we also have a counselor here at SVCTE. She's here every day, located in the office right adjacent to me, and her name is Loretta Cota, and this is our contact information for you. You're welcome to come and see us at any time. We are located right behind the student services counter in the 800 building. Also, we have been in classrooms already, very busy helping our students um, get enrolled for their dual enrollments, articulations, California Community Colleges, and here upcoming next month in the middle of October, we will be offering family information nights. They will be done virtual, um, but we are getting ready to help Specifically the seniors, but also juniors, we always feel like it's um, a great opportunity for you to go ahead and learn and get prepared for your senior year. But um, as you know, October 1st is a very important date because this is when all applications open for things like the FAFSA and DREAMers and the California Student Aid Commission, as well as the university applications for the UC and the CSU. So that's when the applications open. And then each of these applications have various deadlines, but we will definitely be there to help support you through these times, um, especially with family information nights. We also like to let students know you're coming in from different districts and we also have liaison counselors available for you. So Erin Reyes is the counselor specific to Campbell District. She's located in the 800 building on Tuesdays all day, as well as on Thursdays by arrangement. And then for Eastside Union High School District students, we have Miss Hope Nguyen Brashear. She's also located in the 800 building. She's here with us every day. You're more than welcome to come into the office and visit with your counselor anytime you need. For Los Gatos, Saratoga, we have Mar Mary Carol Bernal. She comes to SVCTE by arrangement. Just let us know if you would like to meet with your counselor. We also have for the Milpitas District, uh, this would be Beth Harkey located at Milpitas High School, as well as Jonathan Payne located over at Calaveras Hills High School. And then we also have liaison specific counselors for students in the San Jose Unified School District. So those high schools would be Broadway, Gunderson, Leland, Liberty, Lincoln, Pioneer, San Jose, and Willow Glen. And then for the Santa Clara Unified School District, we have campus liaisons for New Valley, Santa Clara, Wilcox, Wilson. And we also have resource supports for students using accommodated plans. And uh, we have two education specialists located in the middle of the 200 building. And they have a classroom there. So please students at any time that you feel that you need to see your counselor or supports, um, please do report to the 800 building. There's the student services supports um, registrar counter and they will be happy to connect you with one of us. Also students, um, as a matter of fact, today, your progress grades are in process of moving from SVCTE over to each of your high school campuses. 
So our district registrars will communicate to your district registrars. And so we like to give progress grades approximately every six weeks inside of a semester. Uh, we have the fall semester and the spring semester. Um, but in there, you, you will receive progress grades along the way. So those will come out during six week and then at 12 week. And then you get a final grade post um, around the last day of your semester. Like I said, we have fall semester and spring semester in the academic school year. So you may also receive supports from your guidance counselors and teachers along the way um, as we make sure that you remain academically successful. We also like to remind students how the schedule works at SVCTE as well as how the credits are um, attributed to the classes here at SVCTE. So as you know, for the AM session, students appear in person from 7.30 to 9.30 AM. But you also are very responsible for another component. It has a five credit value. It's the blended component. So please pay attention to any of the assignments um, and the materials inside Canvas platform that you would be responsible for in terms of these five other credits. So um, that's called the blended, blended component. And many of our instructors use the Canvas platform to um, assign students their work for that blended section. But all in all, together, um, the AM session still holds a 30 credit value um, because of the entire credit package. Also for the PM, students will earn 30 credits for the entire academic school year, but the PM students are with us in person for three hours a day from 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. So that means that you do not have um, an independent style blended section in the PM class because you're here with us for three hours. Each semester receives 15 credits. If you want to learn more information about how those credits are attributed and how those break down, please do see your counselor or your school registrar. The next topic, um, here at SVCTE, we take bullying and cyberbullying very, very seriously. We have been through specialized training as an educational staff in order to respond swiftly to bullying and cyberbullying or any types of inappropriate behaviors and threats. Um, so that we can be responsive in a confidential or anonymous manner, we have um, gained access to an app. It is called Stop It. And I'm going to show you the next screen so that we can take a moment to actually pause this video so that you can download that app. It is very, very important to us that all students have access to this app. Um, and if you do not have a cell phone, you are able to access the reporting dashboard through this website here. Um, it does say https colon forward slash forward slash appweb.stopitsolutions.com forward slash login. And there you would be able to make an account as well. So take a moment and pause this video. You may also find a direct link to the information from our district website. The district website with instructions is located here on the slide. The website is metroed.net forward slash svcte forward slash students forward slash stop it. If you do not have access to technology in terms of using the dashboard or downloading the app, then you are encouraged to make a phone call. The phone number is 
These are the types of resources that we have for students. Uh, we will respond to any student who is feeling that they are experiencing bullying, cyberbullying. If a student feels that they are experiencing inappropriate student or teacher relationships or behaviors, if the student feels any threats or violence, any threats of hazing or weapons possession, drugs, alcohol, substance abuse, intolerance, discrimination, and more. After you've had a chance to download this app, the access code is capital S-V-C-T-E, all capitals, S-V-C-T-E, and that will bring you, um, that will connect you to um, our dashboard here at S-V-C-T-E. On the other end, um, administration is monitoring any notifications that come in. We will receive the notification immediately and we will respond. Again, we take all bullying and cyberbullying very seriously here at SVCTE, and it is not acceptable behavior. Again, students, it was really great talking with you today. Um, the, it was wonderful being part of this student orientation. I know that there are other components that will be shared with you as well. Really great stuff up and coming. Um, counselors are here to help you. Uh, we really enjoy helping students all throughout the year in any way that we can. All, three, all things student support services, we're here to help you. So please call, email, or stop by the student services counter in the main office building 800 and we will be here to assist you. The other components of this student orientation will now be taken care of by Assistant Principal Laskowski. He will cover attendance, punctuality, campus safety, transportation, and our campus map. So have a good day students. Enjoy the school year. We hope to see you real soon. Take care.